News Talk 820 WBAP, Ernie and Hal on your morning show, taking you through the news uh, as we see it. And we're talking about the housing situation right now. Uh, a lot of mortgage companies are wanting more business, but they're not finding it. And a lot of folks want to buy houses, but they can't afford the money anymore for it. And you got to ask the question, is the U.S. headed toward a housing crash? David Rauch joins us, housing expert and the CEO and founder of Protect Building Services. Hello, David. Good morning. How are you? Doing very well. Uh, are we heading towards a 2008 level uh, dumping of prices in the next uh, year or so? I don't know if it's going to be as extensive as it was in 2008, but it it, it definitely looks like we're headed for some kind of uh, precipitous fall next year. That's for sure. With supply and demand the way it is, how how can that happen? I mean, the demand is there, but the uh, the housing, at least here in Dallas, Fort Worth, they're building like crazy. So the demand is there, but the supply it. Yeah, that's that's the conundrum, isn't it? Because uh, you know the the demand was so hot in the last few years, but it was all. And this is what everybody needs to remember: it was all driven by interest rates, the cost of money. If you look at a typical four hundred thousand dollar home, and you put a mortgage on that home. 30-year mortgage at 2.3%, which is what it was just several months ago, <clears throat> you're spending about 200000 over the life of that loan in interest. Now, at 7%, you're going to be spending $500,000 in interest. Huge difference. We're definitely spoiled because of the low rates that we had for a while. What is a, what is a good median rate to have? Well, I think... You know, for the longest time, rates were there at four, five, six percent. Um, that's the about the uh, thirty, forty-year average interest rate. And you know, having stable interest rates is great to have a stable country. Um, I don't know if you're old enough to remember. I was that back in the late seventies, early eighties, interest rates actually approached up to eighteen percent during the last time. We had a big oil problem with, uh, you know, the Arab oil embargo and uh, Jimmy Carter. And that that just shut down the housing industry. And indeed, today, Jerome Powell and the Fed is going to increase interest rates again by another 0.75%. The markets are all shrugging it off, the, the, the stock market, <clears throat> because they say that, oh, then in December they're only going to raise by 0.5%. But nobody knows that. Jerome Powell is going to continue to raise interest rates until inflation gets under control. And the only reason that rates are going up is because of inflation, and nobody knows what's going to happen with inflation. David Rauch with us, housing expert and the CEO and founder of Protect Building Services. How about this? Are we going to see a repeat uh, of 18% interest rates? Is that going to come back around, or did we learn anything from 1980? You know, it doesn't look like we've learned anything. And that is because the federal government of all entities should have known that restricting the flow of oil and gas is going to cause a significant severe recession. You know, you look back then, that was that was driven by oil. <clears throat> when you restrict oil, you're restricting the entire economy. And, uh, you know, and it always starts with housing. Um, and, and so that, it's a significant problem. You can't mess with the central backbone of our economy, which is energy. Hey, does this all go back to the green movement? Is that what this is all? Is this what hurt us? And you have the politicians that are in the powerful enough to get this going. And it, is it, does this, what it all, is this what it all goes back to? Well, I think that's exactly what it goes back to. If you, hmm. if you look when, uh, uh, President Biden was out there campaigning. He promised to shut down the oil industry. I won't forget the time he turned to that little girl and said, look me in the eye, little girl. I am going to shut down the oil industry or not drill anymore or whatever it was he said. That's insane. Our economy is driven by energy, and 85% of our energy comes from fossil fuels and clean fossil fuels, you know, and, and yes, renewables are a great idea, but they're not transmittable, you know, into our energy grid as easily as fossil fuels. David, and, how much? And, you know, 
David, yeah, let me yeah, let me yeah, jump yeah. ahead here because we're short on time. How much should we see prices yeah. fall in the housing market maybe within the next year? Uh, <clears throat> my guess is that they'll fall. You know, uh, they've fallen already about uh, 5% new home sales. Uh, uh, new home, the cost of a new home has fallen by about 5%. It could fall another 10 20%. Um, again, if nobody's buying a home because of the cost of money, you know, the, the, the demand just falls off. People, the builders are going to have to reduce their prices and, uh, and home, home, buy, you know, home sellers are going to have to reduce their prices to get them to sell. But, uh, you know, if you have interest rates at 12, 15%, there's going to be very little housing activity and you're already seeing a lot of housing related industries laying people off. I, I we see it out here in California. <clears throat> All right, this is David Rauch, a housing expert and the CEO and founder of Protect Building Services. David, a lot of good information. I sure appreciate you coming on this morning. Well, thank you very much. Have a great day. All right, you too.